So before I install the intake plenum back on, I just want to point out the gasket that you want to replace. The one that uh, connects the top intake plenum to the bottom intake plenum, the bottom is the one in the front here. The gasket here is 14033-8J100. And the one that goes down here is going to be 14032-8J10A. The gasket that I used on the valve cover, the part number is 13270-EA20A. As I'm going to put everything back together, I'm going to loosely put in the bolts, the two at the back here, the four over here, don't forget the gasket, and the last one is going to be the gasket at the bottom here. And all these are going to be just loosely tightened so that I can adjust it, wiggle a little bit if I have to. So I've loosely um, tightened up the two bolts back here, so I can still move it a bit. And then also at the back here, there is um, this bracket here that goes under here. I tighten that one up. The hose that goes into the plenum, that one's placed back on. So now that everything is in place, then you can start tightening the back four uh, bolts and then after that, uh, tighten the ones in the front. I just finished tightening the four bolts at the back and again, um, the top two and the one at the bottom on the passenger side. I just use a regular 3 8 um, ratchet and then on the driver's side, the bottom one, because the space is so tight, I had to use this little... Uh, like a little stubby short uh, ratchet here so this one fits perfectly give me enough uh, leverage and I was able to tighten that one at the bottom the next thing is to reconnect the green connectors and so also there's a hose here that needs to be connected back up on this side to tighten the two bolts at the back and again I'm going to use the adjustable angle 
rush it here. We install the star studs on both sides and also the EGR pipe. I almost forgot the uh, EGR pipe here. There's a gasket here. Here's the old one. And I did buy a replacement one. This is the part number 14719-4S100. And that's what the new one looks like. So I'll be installing this one right now. For these bolts, I'm going to start with this middle one. One, two, three, four, five. And they all need to be tightened to uh, 14 foot pounds. The EGR pipe needs to be tightened to 12 foot pounds. Now reconnect the hoses up here. And then remount these components onto the intake plenum. And then reconnect this connector here. What I do is change out the uh, spark plugs on the front front side here. Same procedure as the one at the back. So I'm not gonna record this one, but basically that's what I'll be doing right now. I've placed the window cowl back over here, and then I'll be attaching uh, the connector to the ECM. Uh, this device with the metal clips. Put the bolts back in. Okay, everything's put back together. The only thing left is the uh, top plastic cover and the wiper. I'm going to start it up right now. Everything's done now, and I let it run until it's nice and warm, made sure the leaks are not there anymore. Everything looks good. Now I want to take a moment to share with you a couple of things. This job is very involved. I 
was surprised how much time I spent. I think altogether I spent about eight hours on this and that's including videotaping this so that slowed me down. So if you're doing it at home it should be a lot quicker but be very prepared. I pretty much pulled out all the tools I had just to get to some of the bolts that are in very very tight spaces and you need to make sure that you're very organized and maybe, maybe even take some notes on what was disconnected uh, what needs to be reconnected later on so you don't miss anything uh, now this vehicle is about 10 years old so you know stuff like a uh, hose that might be cracked you know be prepared for stuff like that so I hope this video helped you guys and if you have any questions leave a comment below and if you like the video please subscribe thank you